Hi, I'm Tracy, and this is my husband, Jeff, and we have a three-year-old daughter, Ava, and a one-year-old son, Daniel. We got in touch with Steve because we were having a lot of behavioral issues with Ava, um, a lot of tantrums, uh, just acting out in public, um, really extended bedtimes, Ava getting up for uh, sometimes well over an hour, mm -hmm. continuing to get out of bed, and uh, lots of crying really high emotional levels in the household. Um, yeah, I felt I had, I just had a really big problem with the tantrums when I take her out places. I was kind of, I was always on edge when I went to take her out and embarrassed and is she going to have a tantrum when we're out there? And when family would come over worrying um, if she was going to have a major tantrum during a family event and just feeling that pressure and anxiety every time we went anywhere or had anyone over. Now with Ava, we're, uh, well, right away we experienced a, a, a huge reduction in the tantrums. Mm -hmm. uh, before, we, we really hardly got going, and uh, right away we noticed a tremendous uh, decrease in the tantrums and uh, improvement in Ava's behavior. Um, now, tantrums are a very rare occurrence. It doesn't happen that often. It still happens occasionally, yeah. but it's certainly far reduced from the level of emotion and, and uh, the way it was acting before. It's, it's so yeah. much improved. And there's more of a, a peaceful tone in the house, which makes everyone much happier, including our youngest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The bedtimes have, um, I mean, before we would deal with an hour of fighting. And now it's it's just nice. We're able to to hug her, kiss her, put her in bed, and walk away. And she says good night. And then that's the last we hear from her. And a big thing that I noticed too is just the respect that Ava yeah. is showing you now. Uh, there was times before where it was, uh, you know, you didn't know how to discipline sometimes because it was very constant. And now uh, we don't see that from her anymore at all. It's very respectful. Yeah. She wants to help mommy a lot now mm -hmm. instead of fighting with me which makes everyone in our house much happier. <laughs> I think a big thing that I notice is that for myself as a mom, I feel so much more um, uh, relaxed and just in control that wherever we're going to go, if it's going to be at home or if we're out, um, I know how to handle the situation and I, I have the tools that I need to be able to do that. So that for me, that, that just really reduces my stress with taking care of both kids. Yeah, and for me, uh, that just gives me a peace, you know, knowing that you have that confidence now. And uh, uh, I, I would say, you know, going into this uh, before we met with Steve, I thought, you know, we were really doing a lot of things really right. And I think, you know, my thinking has changed a lot. And I just feel more like the way a parent should lead uh, properly. And, and not only has it helped with, has what Steve has told us helped with them, um, the parenting issues, but I've also uh, uh, just find it's helped me, you know, in my life, in my work life, yeah. and uh, just yeah. just to to be more of a leader. Uh, well, before for chores in our house, Ava really didn't do anything, um, and I didn't really expect much of her. I, I just didn't think that she would be capable at her age, three years old, being able to do chores. So. Really, I was I was just doing everything for her, from getting her dressed, and, you know, getting meals prepared, just um, just waiting on her, and, and really thinking she wasn't capable of doing it at all. And uh, after we met with Steve, we started implementing some chores. Just start off with some basic things. Um, uh, we have two cats, so and she loves the cats. So we decided, okay, well, maybe one day she could fill up the cat chow, and. Um, Lo and behold, she was. She thought it was a great idea, and she absolutely loved doing it. And you know, every morning she comes down and she checks to see if her cats, you know, need to be filled up. If her chow needs to be filled up, and she'll go over there and she goes into the cupboard and she pours it all out, and then she cleans up after herself. And um, she seems to get such a. Um, it, it just gives her such a sense of accomplishment that she's doing this, and she's three years old, and she really enjoys it. Yeah, and just building on it like that she does really enjoy it so much. We're we're starting to implement a lot of new things for her, and I started teaching her how to um, you know, pick up all the dishes after dinner, and I, she's <laughs> learning how to scrape off any leftovers and wash it off and put it in the dishwasher. So we're not there yet, but she's uh, 
definitely easier to learn and, and it's helping me every night with that now. Yeah. Also, you had her setting the she table. She sets the table, yeah. yeah. So yeah. things she have really come stuff. a long way and I think yeah. your, your parents have really noticed that too because before, mm -hmm. um, you know, Ava had quite a few tantrums when your mom and dad were around and your mom and dad were on occasion thoroughly embarrassed out in public and, and now they're seeing uh, all this change in uh, Ava helping around the house and doing all these things. So it's been, yeah. it's been really positive in that regard. And Steve was teaching us about what it's um, with younger children, they have a systems response delay. So uh, even young children like Daniel, uh, we didn't think he could answer questions or anything. And um, That he really even understood. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, at his age, we just didn't know if he understood at all because he doesn't talk, so. But Steve taught us that um, there is a systems response delay and it can take 30 to 45 seconds uh, before they can answer a question. And of course, they can't do it with their voice, so you have to show them how to answer. So Steve was telling us about touching them on the arm and asking them to raise their hand for simple questions. So after we met with Steve and, and learned about this, we tried it the next day. And uh, we were absolutely amazed when we asked him a question and said, Daniel, if you want this, you know, raise this arm. And, mm -hmm. and we gave him the probably 35 seconds and yeah. boom, and sure enough, he <laughs> answered the question so directly and, and since that time uh, we've been able to develop a lot more communication skills with Daniel and uh, uh, knowing that he really does understand what we're talking about uh, to a much higher level than what we're giving him credit for. So it's been good in that regard as well mm -hmm. just, to, just to see that development with Daniel. Just really so thankful that we did contact Steve and we found out about this and uh, we would absolutely recommend it to any of our friends or family members or anybody for that matter that uh, would be willing to accept some help and, and a little bit of change in thinking. It's well worth the time and effort uh, putting into it and it's just been so helpful for us we would recommend it to anybody.